In this video, I'm going to show you code unit in AL programming. This is the item card page. So this page is already written, which is a Microsoft owned object. Okay, so this is a page object. So here you can see that you have all the relevant information and fields. The right side, you have a picture option. If you just click here, you have uh, import, okay, and export and delete is disabled here fine so even if i click import okay it will show you some error okay so now what we are going to write is we are going to write a code that is code unit to import and export picture from this uh, microsoft bc okay and then uh, we are going to uh, use extend this particular item card page because this is already written this is a microsoft owned page so we cannot uh, rewrite it but we can extend this okay that is we are going to use what page extension to add these two things that is import and export to this page okay let us see how to do that with so i have already written the code unit so you can see that this is code unit so if you want to create any code unit, so code unit what is a code unit means it is a it is like a function in our regular programming so what does that function do is what if you want to do some particular work again and again for example if i want to do this import and export images for any other pages as well okay then what i'll be doing it doing is what i'll create a code unit that is a small unit of code where i will uh, write this that particular code here and then wherever i need it i will just call this code unit okay this particular code unit so uh, you can create this code unit using a t code okay so you, once if you click the code it will show the snippet code in it okay so once if you click here it has what a default trigger called run on run okay whenever uh, this code unit executes what should happen and it will have some variable you can define a variable if you wanted and you have to write a procedure if you want any sp specific procedure to be executed you can write that so let us see that this is the code unit which we have written this is the code unit and uh, this is what the image management so i have given the name for the code unit and this is the id you can define so the first procedure which i have given here is what the name that is procedure import item picture okay import item picture this is user defined name you can write any procedure name here okay and this is what this is the um variable the sorry the data type and the variable which you have to give that is item and uh, record item i have given this is the variable uh this is like we'll be calling no parameter okay while creating any procedure we will be if you want any parameter to be passed inside it you can create it and then for that particular procedure i am writing the local variable that is pick n stream so pick n stream is what user defined variable from file is also a user defined variable override image quest is also a user defined variable and then here i have used in stream in stream is what the data type so in stream is for input stream okay and the out stream is for output stream so these two are the data types which are uh, uh, it's a generic stream objects that we can use to read from or write to a files and blobs that is binary large objects okay so this is what that is why i have used because image is what a binary large object that is a uh, that is the object which we are supposed to input or either import or export from the bc okay and then in the override image quest for suppose the already the image is there if we want to override it okay then it will show the label it will show a message like the existing picture will be replaced and do you want to continue okay yes if you want to continue then locked that is already the file will be there no that will be uh, that will be go uh, that will become false and then maximum length we are accepting is what 250 okay and then this is here i am beginning the procedure so whenever we are writing more than one if that is if we are continuing like some um more functions that is more uh, statements in the width okay so it is better to use the with statement okay that is if there are many or long expressions then it should be on a new line and be aligned with with and if okay so with item so this item is what i have uh, that is whichever the argument is passed in this particular function 
and do begin so here i'm beginning the function so this is what to import an item okay so import an item is from our local disk we are our local space we are just uh, importing into a bc 365 okay so if picture count is greater than zero greater than zero then we are asking for overriding okay because if the picture is already there then we have to override it so when it has to override then it has to display this label that is the existing picture will be replaced okay and if there is no picture at all so exit if that so it will exit from this particular um, condition okay and then if upload into stream upload into stream we are just trying to upload into what okay so once if you uh, just hover over that particular function upload into stream is what the built-in function in bc okay uh, send a file from the client computer to the corresponding server okay the client computer is the computer that is running the windows client or the computer that is running a browser that access the web client okay and uh, upload into stream it has a specific uh, syntax okay so let us see what is that upload into stream upload into stream it has its own syntax so here you have to write import okay because we are uh, importing it into what uh, the bz and then we have to write comma okay and then all files okay this is uh, sorry this is one and this is uh, double quotes and then it should file all files okay all files and then we are going to tell like, like we were telling no star uh, any any file stream any file with the dot jpeg or any specific um, any specific uh, extension okay and then this is a regular expression we are using here dot star and then what we are telling is what we are telling the uh, so here it should come like this okay and we are telling what we are telling what file name we are just importing so that file name should be there name okay and here you can see that this is picked in stream okay from file name from which file name and uh, this is in stream pick in stream we are sending it to that so if you are uploading something then already existing picture should be cleared and whatever you are importing that should be replaced and modify is equal to true so we are ending this okay ending all the statement end 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 okay this end as for this if end end everything we are ending so this begin and end here it is completed sorry this end is for this begin okay this end is for this and this end is for this begin so complete begin and end so this coordinate we have written it for import item picture okay so once if you want only this particular procedure then you can stop right here and then you can come to the next uh, thing that is local procedure and even if you want to export item that is if the already exist if the picture is already there and if you want to export it to your local disk then you can write this procedure as well that is procedure export item picture the same thing okay i have used the same local because this is a local variable here too i have used pick in stream it's a local variable so once this procedure is stopped then this uh, local this variable will not no longer be used so i have used the same variable index tenant media record so um tenant media that is uh, see for uh, the table fields which support the data files okay for adding media to the record so whenever you are adding a media to the record it has its own uh, data type and uh, uh, that data type will be stored will get stored in a system table that system table we call it as a tenant media okay and it has its own unique id as well so see here if you if i just uh, hover over that uh, tenant media you can see the idea id that okay that is guid okay description text everything is stored so we are just giving the tenant media and this is a record so if you just over there it will also show you what is the record variable declaration and should be ordered uh, by type okay and then you can uh, give what is the name for that particular record okay uh, name so file name what file name you are going to give it will be text in, the, in that format of text so it is given like a text okay the same thing you are, we are going to just begin like begin uh, with item because if we want to uh, execute a certain step of procedure uh, within a small block we'll be using with 
so here with this item so whatever the item which you are passing to that particular procedure so that will be passed here and then it uh, will check for the count if the procedure is zero that is if there is no picture then it will be it will exit okay and if there is any picture then you are, you are supposed to what you are supposed to download the image with the specific file name with a caption and everything so for that i have written this and you are, we are going to download it so i have used download from stream uh, method so this is an inbuilt method this download stream is what it's an in inbuilt method and likewise how we have used here import stream likewise download stream is also an inbuilt method so here in this specific procedure you can see that this is export item picture right so here you can see that we have also created that is we have called an another procedure okay that is get tenant media file extension this is the local procedure which we have written here this is a procedure get tenant media file extension so here what i am trying to do is i am using that mime type okay mime is what that is uh, multi purpose internet mail extension so whatever the extension it may be like jpeg PNG, BMP, GIF, TIFF, and WMF. So we are trying to export that. Okay, so that is what we are calling it here. So this is what a complete procedure we have written. So you can see this is for importing picture item. If you are okay only to import any picture, then you can directly go ahead with this and stop right here. Or if you want to export any picture, then you have to write this as well. And then I am saving it. Okay, Control S for saving it. And uh, yes and another one is we have to write the page extension right so you here you can see that um, okay so this is page extension you can see that this is a page extension i have created this is the page extension name and item card is what already there okay if you go to the al page designer I'm just typing item card so this id is what 30 okay and uh, uh, here you can see that okay so here i have uh, written page extension item card extension this is what my extension name and i have extended the item card which is already there okay and i don't uh, need to uh, that is these are all the layouts and in the action i'm just adding after the functions okay and action input item picture add after this is what the matter add after add before okay add last add first like that so this is the action that is import item picture so i am i have given the name here this is import uh, item picture and in the application area all so this is the basic thing and trigger on action so whenever it is clicked here image management colon code unit okay here i am calling the code unit okay image management this is the variable name and i am using the code unit called image management which we have written here the code unit name is what image management okay and begin image management dot image import item pick rec so you can see that this is import item picture okay and then another one is action export item picture so on action same thing i'm just calling the image management and then image management dot export item picture so this is what the export item picture procedure okay and then uh, we are just ending this okay so now we are going to execute it in the launch.json make sure that you have uh, uh, properly used the id that is 30 okay that is what we have seen this is 30 okay in the launch.json you have to give the 30 so once it is given you can save it okay click save 